I'm uh, a little nervous tonight. I'm breaking in a new suit for you guys. Look at it. You like it? Ninety dollars. Got nine pair of pants here. I have another reason for being nervous. I've been lying awake nights trying to figure out this little market of ours. I learned yesterday that uh, United States Steel is going to merge with Hershey Chocolate. Think of it. Think of what that'll mean to our country. And uh, with every share of QRT stock that you buy, you're going to get five aspects. I shouldn't worry about the market. I have uh, the nicest broker. Whenever the market goes boom, you know, boom, he doesn't send me a margin call. He carries me for about three blocks. There uh, should have been a girl accomplished here tonight, but uh, I don't know. She's indisposed, and uh, I'm so sorry you couldn't meet her. She's a lovely girl. She's got it. Or if, or if, that's the word, yes. She sure is a lovely girl, a former school teacher, but has no principles. And uh, she loves music. I'll never forget one time she was out in the park listening to a um, band concert with a girlfriend of hers, and they were both arguing as to what the orchestra was playing. My girl said it was a souvenir from Woolworth. She's so funny. And her girlfriend said it was the um, quartet from Maybe's Irish Grove. They argued for a while. Finally, my girl said, well, there's a sign over there. I'll go over and see what they're playing. She went over, looked at the sign, came back, said we're both wrong. <laughs> Just to refrain from smoking. I'm such a funny fellow. about two years ago called Big Butter and Egg Nap in the West. Here's your life. Little Broadway roses up and down Broadway With their powdered noses searching for some prey Happy little gold diggers smiling just because They have discovered a brand new Santa Claus they call him Big Butter and Egg Man from the West. You can tell by the butter and eggs right on his vest. Sixty-five, he's a millionaire, the answer to a gold digger's prayer. How he goes for jewels and clothes, the girls take him like Grant to Richmond. He's patriotic with a skirt. Cause he gives and he gives and gives until it hurts. Takes the girls out to dinner, but everyone has got a pink consumption to eat and run from the big butter and egg man from the west. Everybody dance, come on. Big butter and egg man from the west. Just a great big chump like all the rest. What he makes on the chickens that lay in the hay, spends on the chickens on the gay white way. How he goes to jewels and clothes, the girls take him like bread takes gravy. Oh, how those bimbos lead him on. Home, his name is Bill, but here it's gone. He took a girl out riding in his Cadillac. I met him near Paducah, he was walking back. That big butter and egg man from the west. Pretty? Oh, I meant to tell you, um, my little girlfriend is a glorious cook. She makes soup just like my mother used to open. And um, she made a new kind of a pudding for me last week. I'd like you ladies to try it sometimes. Here's the recipe. You take a half a loaf of fresh baked bread, uh, soak it in lukewarm water for an hour and a half. It gets good and soggy. <laughs> soggy. Then you sprinkle a lot of salt and pepper and vinegar. Vinegar. I pronounce all my weeds with a love of you. Salt and pepper and vinegar all over the bread. You cover the surface with a tiger piece. Add some garlic, a little Worcestershire sauce, then put it in the oven with nice and brown. Oh, it's delicious. And after it's well baked, you take it out, throw it out of the window, and open a can of pan. Good night, I'll see you later. <laughs> 